Hey guys and welcome back to WePC. My name is Sarah and in this video I will be explaining what is the best SSD for a gaming PC. When it comes to different types of SSDs, solid state drives, the majority of PC users aren't particularly bothered about which SSD type they are using, just that it works quickly. In any case, picking up a good SSD is the key these days and one of the best ways you can give your PC a snappy response feel. Hard drives still serve a purpose but for optimal PC performance an SSD is crucial. The first question is do you need an SSD? Well the short answer is almost always yes. For several reasons such as instant boost times, SSDs are the fastest type of storage and are great for booting your operating system, applications and favourite games while also speeding up data transference. Then you have gaming performance. Some SSDs have been shown to give some games a boost in performance when compared to slower HDDs. Next, they are noise free. SSDs don't have any moving parts, giving you a quieter system. But most importantly, they are future proof. You can only benefit from having a faster SSD. Not only does it enhance your quality of life, but it will keep your computer feeling fast for that much longer. So, what are the different types of SSDs? SSDs, you have a 2.5 SATA SSD, M.2 SSD and a PCIe SSD adding card. The main differences between the three are the form factor and speed. Starting with 2.5 inch serial ATA SATA, which is by far the most common type of SSD drive out there. This type of SSD is much faster than hard drives and is excellent for common users. SATA 3 had a limit of around 500 megabytes and are now considered a more of a budget option. We recommend going for an M2 if you can afford it and your motherboard supports it. Talking about M.2 SSDs, they come in two different classes, SATA M.2 and NVMe M.2 SATA. The M.2 drives feature similar performance to the standard 2.5 SSDs that I have just mentioned and are ideal for gamers, whereas NVMe SSDs are even even faster and very advantageous for users who transfer large files or require faster speeds in applications. These types of drives tend to have speeds typically faster than 500 megabytes. M.2 also requires zero cables and are the most clean looking efficient method of storage. Lastly, there is the PCIe SSD adding card. This type of SSD looks more like a GPU or sound card rather than a storage device. And plugs directly into your PCIe slot on your motherboard. These SSDs feature similar blistering speeds to the NVMe M.2 drives. These drives won't require any cables but will need an empty PCIe x4 or x16 slot on the motherboard. The real question here is what size SSD do you need? Well this really depends on what use your PC has other than gaming. For someone who games on their PC but also edits high res photos, video footage and transfers large amounts of data, a 4 terabyte capacity SSD would be highly recommended but high capacity SSDs do come with matching high price tags. The minimum we would recommend going for is the 1 terabyte drive. This could be considered a sweet spot when you factor in the price. A 1 terabyte SSD can handle your OS, applications and games without breaking a sweat and many PC builders will opt for this with secondary hard drives to store media files or applications that don't benefit from snatty boot times. So which SSD do you need? Well, I prefer going for two 500 gigabytes SSDs over one terabyte, just in case anything breaks, but you still get one terabyte and I can still use my PC. The reality is though this will cost the same and it is going down the M.2 route, you will need to make sure your motherboard has enough slots for your desired configuration. The bottom line is unless you require a super fast high capacity storage device, the most affordable 2.5 SATA SSDs are going to be more than enough. If you are one of the few still running everything on a hard drive, you're going to notice a huge difference if you do choose to upgrade. There we have it guys, thank you so much for watching.
watching, please subscribe because it helps our channel go a long way. For more information or just to chat, join our WePC Discord. I will leave the links above or down below. Thanks again for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.